my uh, Discord friends as well. So uh, we are doing the Discord live and our YouTube live at the same time. Uh, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome to daily live streaming, folks. Daily live streaming. So before we go, go deep into it, just make sure we have the right sound as well. Just make sure we have the sound is good. Okay, make sure my picture's looking okay. All right, I think we are all good to go here, folks. I'm looking at, I have my monitor set up. Just make sure we have a right sound. Video quality is, I'm not looking for high quality, okay, folks. My bar is pretty low. As long as you guys can see me, you guys can hear me, I'm, I'm good with it. So, uh, this morning, uh, it's almost, still morning, guys. Morning here. Uh, it's almost 11.30 on Friday. We are going to, I'm going to show you, uh, show you how to make, uh, it's called Italian classic, shaker rato, okay, shaker rato. Also, you can say shake rato as well, but shaker rato is, uh, I think the preferred pronoun, I believe, okay. Shaker rato. And uh, I just find out about this drink. Uh, my buddy Ryan, he just got back from Italy a couple of days ago. And he told me that that's the best drink he had it in Italy. Okay, not the specialty coffee. He told me their espresso stinks. Okay, not my words. That's his words. Okay, according to Ryan, the dog man, uh, he told me Italian espresso is not that great. But Shakerado was amazing. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to make that this morning. Uh, very easy to make. You just need a classic uh, Italian blend. Okay, I'm using the, the Neapolitan blend from my friends at Good Brothers Coffee. I do have a coupon code as well. I got 15% off, so I'm gonna put the link down below when I'm done with it. Okay, done with the video. And uh, uh, so, so simply, you, you are going to shake. Okay, if you have a mighty shaker, it'd be perfect. If not, uh, use kind of like jar, has a lid on it. Okay, that'll work too. Okay, I think that's what I'm gonna use. All right, uh, if you have a large, so get the large, largest basket you have. I come uh, talking about the filter basket for your coffee, right? So I'm using the 22 gram baskets and I'm gonna put about 20 grams of coffee in it. You know, I'm gonna do 20 gram because my standard is about a 18 gram. Okay, 18 gram, but for this drink, this is gonna be espresso. We're gonna shake it with ice and a little bit of sugar. That's it, okay? And so that's what we're gonna do. Uh, comes to sugar, whatever sugar you guys want. All right, you can use salted caramel. I'm, uh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use my all natural sugar. I'm, I'm, uh, it's gonna be five grams of natural sugar, that's it. Don't put too much sugar there, about five grams of sugar. All right, I got 20 grams ready to go. So since we are making Italian classic drink, yeah, I do have a quite a few grinders on the on the back, but I'm gonna use a, a classic Italian coffee grinder, the Eureka. Okay, let's go with the Italian theme here. I have a Eureka Zero, Minion Zero. So we're gonna do Eureka Zero uh, for the coffee grinder. Uh, what else we need? Uh, pretty much it. So you wanna use like clear. Uh, if you have a martini cup, perfect. If not, get some kind of clear glass. Okay you know, show off to your friends, right? So let's get going, guys. Let's, let's make the shaker rattle this morning, okay? Uh, let's get the 18 gram, uh, I got actually no, 20 grams of coffee going in. Okay. But the, uh, the Eureka has so many grinders. Not even funny, okay? They just keep making it. I don't know why. So, I don't know why they got so many of them. Beats me. Uh, they have must be like 20, 30 different types of coffee grinder. Somehow they keep coming up with a new grinder. Pretty much the same size, you know. You know. Okay. Meantime, I'm gonna flip the camera here, folks. So I'm gonna show you guys the, how to make this, the whole workflow here. All right. 
Like I said, I'm going to be using about five grams of sugar. So here's my cup. Okay. Let's do five grams. The reason why you put the sugar, uh, it's going to make a nice, you know, foam. Let's do 5.4 grams of sugar there. Let's flip you guys around here. I'm just going to. Again, this is a 20 gram basket. I'm using uh, 20 gram today. Comes to grind size. Eh, it's hard to tell from my Eureka, but I'm gonna do a one to two ratio. Uh, more like one to 2.5. I'm trying to go for 20 gram in, about 50 gram out. Okay. 20 and 50 gram out. I'm just gonna lock it in. All right. Okay, let's zoom that in for you. Actually, man, look at that very thick crema coming out. Looks fantastic. Trying to shoot for 50 gram. I'm at 30, almost 40 gram. Looking at the time there, hopefully you guys can see the time. There we go. 30 seconds at uh, 52 gram, that is perfect. All right, that is. Uh, I mean, it comes to, I mean, look at this beautiful crema from the Neapolitan coffee blend. They're great, okay. I think the Brent did a pretty good job roasting that coffee there. Neapolitan. And the only thing he needs to work on, I, I told him, I want something sweet, even sweeter than Neapolitan. Okay, I want Brin to come up with a little bit sweeter than, okay, a little bit sweeter, all right? It's sweet, but it's not sweet enough. I want more sweeter and yeah. Brin, uh, he's on the live chat right now. Make sure you work on that, buddy. Make sure you work on it. And, and then, uh, once you, he, once you, he come up with that blend and then we are going to name it. Okay. It's going to be, I'm going to, that's going to be part of kind of like Hoon's coffee trademark there. Coffee. So I've been bugging him for, I don't know how many years. It's been a long time. So there we go. I'm, I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this coffee or crema. They're fantastic. Okay, so so now we got the espresso. Okay, about eight twenty gram in, and then I got the, about fifty gram out. Okay, I got fifty gram out there. So now I have some ice. Uh, make sure you put a lot of ice in it. Okay, but don't don't go all the way though because it's gonna be melted. Put the espresso in, just like so. Only thing you gotta do is just shake it, okay? Shake it, that's it. Until you're gonna create that foam, that's all. You know, some people use a shaker, you know, one of those uh, martini shaker, it's great. If you don't have it, that's okay. So now I'll create this beautiful foam there. Yeah, this is really good. Okay. And ideally, you want to have some kind of clear glass. All right. So just do it, just get the clear glass. If you don't have it, that's fine. But if you do, it's more fun to use it. 
just simply man look at this man this is absolute beauty I mean look at this drink look at that this is just absolutely beautiful cheers everybody happy Friday smells pretty good only five grams of sugar that's it only five grams of sugar so cheers man this is perfect this is perfect for summer drink uh, I mean it's pretty hot here in Arizona right now so and this is the I'm not gonna finish though okay I cannot have too much sugar so but again th this is fantastic all right man man boy it's good uh, it's all depend on um, if you like vanilla you can use the vanilla syrup as well sugar I know I saw James Hoppen did a video on it he put a little bit of salt but you don't have to if you don't want to but yeah I mean if you want to add a little bit of salt take the edge off you could do that as well so again uh, this is the shakerado okay the shakerado so easy uh, uh, do not use coffee with like free notes you know one of those specialty coffee don't uh, you want to use a classic Italian blend like Neapolitan okay and this I think I bet you, you know what? I bet you put some little bit of milk in it too. It's really good as well. So, I wonder. Hold on a second here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do something else. Hold on a second. I'm very curious. I'm going to add a little bit of milk. Okay, not too much. Okay, just a little bit of milk. Okay. Just a little bit of milk. And then a little bit of caramel, okay? Not too much, okay? Just a little bit of caramel here. Kind of take the edge off. More ice. Okay, put some more ice in it. Let's shake it. Okay. And then let's try this. Okay, let's try one more time, folks. This time I added a little bit of caramel and a little bit of milk. We shake this thing up. Wow. You know what? Even better. They're fantastic. Fantastic. Again, I mean, that's, I'm kind of like having a one sip and I'm done. I'm done for the day. Anyway. Uh, as you saw on this video, they're extremely easy. Okay, just uh, pulled a great shot with kind of like classic Italian blend, like a Neapolitan I, uh, I got from Britain as well. Uh, I, I'm going to put the coupon code underneath when I'm done with it. But yeah, I mean, they are so easy. Easy to make. Uh, they're quite delicious. Okay. Anyway, so meantime, we got some friends on the live chat here. We have our usual friends. We got Joe's on can the wind uh windy okay look like joining us for the first time there the rock obviously we got brent on z martin's on as well you we have a mike Mihal. i hope i'm saying it right uh, friends from berlin okay we got ken is also joining joining us as well yeah make sure you join the live chat folks okay if you have any uh, thoughts on it questions yeah just uh, say hello okay you got Leopold from the Luxembourg, all right. Again, okay, uh, summer drink is so easy. I mean, you know what? The thing is, you put anything with the coffee and sugar in it, they're so delicious. Yeah, me high, me high. Okay, me high. You put on like, like me high. Okay, there we go. All right, I think, let's hear what else. Uh, okay, so we got the Joe, 
Okay, by the way, uh, if you have any question about any kind of DF grinders, the Joe is the owner of Espresso Outlet, so he knows everything about the, all the DFs. Okay, all the DFs. DF64V, we have a DF6, uh, DF83 as well. Yeah. I think I, last time I heard, he's selling a lot of DF64V. Okay. Shout out to Murphy from New Hampshire as well. Yeah. Uh, by the way, so this afternoon session, uh, Mike uh, showed me how to make a Japanese iced coffee. Okay. So we're going to go another coffee recipe this afternoon as well. Japanese iced coffee. They're so easy to make and then very interesting. Okay. I think you guys are going to love that recipe. All right. Uh, coffee like Japanese coffee, you know, you want something fruity. I know if you go to Japan, they do a lot of dark roast, which means very chocolatey and very nutty. And, but, so earlier, uh, I tried the Japanese iced coffee earlier. So I made this one with uh, hydrangea coffee, uh, grapefruit, and then nori, okay? Fantastic. But this afternoon, I'm going to be making coffee with tangerine, lemongrass, and papaya. Okay, We're going to do that. We're we going to make iced coffee with it. Japanese iced coffee. Okay, I wonder if there's a such thing as Korean iced coffee. It's got to be. All right. If not, we're going to come up with something. Yeah. And uh, that rock say presto will be amazing. Yep. Yeah, it should be fun. It should be fun there. Okay, here. What else? Uh, Mihai got the DF83 from Vienna. Goodness. That is that is far away from here, guys. And then Mihai is also uh, considering DF uh, versus DF83. I mean, the thing about uh, those two grinders, the price difference, right? The huge price difference there as well. So, I mean, again, the grinder has been so saturated, the market. Okay. Goodness. I don't know. I mean, I lost count. Okay. I lost count. How many coffee grinders out there? So, yeah. Anyway, uh, again, today's Friday. 27, guys. So, next week is uh, August already. I don't know about you, but my younger son is going back to school. Okay. Yeah. Starting next Wednesday. So, time flies. Timor, say, Lagon P64 uh, for life. We only upgrade if I can sell. Not much, de uh, not much demand, if I can sell it. Uh, Lagon Pick 64. I mean, again, I mean, that's great grinder, all right? I, I think you're going to have a lifetime for sure. I mean, I mean, most grinders are, you know, okay? Mo most grinders are going to have a lifetime. Yeah. And uh, did, did you guys hear about the Lagon option? Oh, come up with a new coffee grinder. Okay, they come up with a new coffee grinder. Hold on, let me show you guys if you haven't seen it. I think you guys saw already. So let's check out the new grinder from Option. Oh, hold on, let me pull up the, uh, the Instagram page here. Again, if you are joining us, uh, welcome to live streaming. So hold on here. Uh, I'm pulling up right now. Yeah, this is interesting. I mean, this is pretty fascinating. So this is a new coffee grinder from, they're coming out. Okay, here, let me flip the camera here. So this is so 98, they have P100, that's 98 millimeter. And then this new coffee grinder coming out, we don't know what's the size going to be, okay? We don't know what size going to be. It's supposedly pretty big. My guessing is 120, okay? So this is the one right there. And I guess it's a smaller size. Okay, but that, I mean, I'm interested in that, that big one, all right? Again, I have no idea what's the size going to be. And knowing, 
you know, optional, it's better quality, it's going to be spectacular. And the last time I heard from somebody, okay, I don't know who, but one of my viewers told me that it's going to be upwards of $5,000 for that coffee grinder. All right. Hold on. Daydripper say, uh, that's a water dispenser. Is it? That's Daydripper say. And, and on, okay, never mind. The water dispenser, uh, he was joking around there. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty ridiculous. Five grand, you know what? I mean, for coffee grinder for five grand, I mean, that's not unheard of it. Okay. But, I mean, like EK43 behind me, Okay, uh, that's about three grand, all right? Uh, if you're gonna add another, what, eight, 700 bucks for the SSP birds in it, uh, bring close to 4,000, okay? So that's not, yeah, that's not cheap either. So, hmm, yeah. But again, it's gonna be pretty interesting. I mean, we're looking, looking forward to get some more information on that. Uh, we have a Mr. Pan plow, pan ply. Uh, really wants the 064 a, uh, S. Hope it won't be okay. Do you want it or do you already order it? Okay. Hold on a second here. That's not a grinder. I, I think the Day Dripper is right. Hi Z. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I can't even say correctly there. I, I, I think he's right. I think that's a water dispenser. Hold on a second here. Lamp, a connected phone with a Bluetooth. Goodness, that is interesting. Yeah, there you go. Water dispenser. Are you kidding me? In this latest innovation, the water dispenser. So they're going to come up with a new grinder and water dispenser. What? Man. I, 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 mean, I, I mean, why you want to get a water dispenser? Hold on. I mean, I, 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 don't, I, I don't get it. Hold on a second here. The... Heise Oasis water dispenser has been crafted with state-of-the-art technology that allow to adjust water temperature and dispense directly in the favorite gooseneck. That's not all. Built-in water filter and remineralize, remove the impurity. Oh man, that is, I don't know, okay. I'm not sure about that, all right? I'm not sure. Yeah, what do you got? I mean, what? And the Darak said, better question is why would you want $400 lamp? Yes, I think Darak is correct, okay? I mean, I thought there was a grinder, by the way. I thought there was a coffee grinder. I think, uh, man. I'm going to shout out to Day Draper. Day Draper from California. Man. I mean that is that is very interesting there. Yeah, I I mean who wants to buy that, okay? I mean so what I do is comes to water, I got the zero water. Right? I filter it out. So I have come up with zero TDS and might make my own water recipe. Okay? Come up with my own water recipe using, you know, I have like three different mineral here, salt, you know, Epsom salt, bicarbonate, and calcium. So make, you know, make your own water, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, again, it's gonna be cool, all right? Yeah, I have to give uh, optional a uh, credit there. Comes to cool factor, I mean, that is uh, really, really cool. But I wonder, you have to have space for that too. Okay, you have to have space. So not, I mean, if you are thinking about getting one of those, which means you already have very nice setup at home, okay? So what's, you know, what's $400 for the lamp, right? You know what I mean? What's 400 bucks? Yeah. 
Okay, uh, let's Darwak say we have a new grinder shooting for September. 98 likely might be design. Okay, there we go. Different material. I don't know. That sounds like it's going to be bigger, Mike. I think my feeling is a little bigger. Different, yeah, because 98 is already done. Okay, been there and done it. So I'm hoping they're going to come up with a large size with a different design. That's what I'm hoping for. We have Amit from India as well. We got Amit from India. Uh, if you are just joining us just now, uh, we just finished making uh, Shakerado, okay? And then after that, we add some little bit of caramel and a little bit of milk. So I, I, I don't know what's this color, but it's, it's really good. Okay, I mean, we come up with the recipe here. Whatever recipe we can come up. And okay, just play with it, guys, okay? I mean, it does, you don't have to follow the recipe. You just make your own, okay? Okay, I mean, just, I mean, just make your own, all right? Just make your own recipe, all right? I mean, no one cares, okay? No one cares about it. Uh, we have a shout out to Linda, joining us from Texas. Anyway, so this afternoon, uh, we're gonna make uh, Japanese coffee using the, this lovely coffee from Indonesia. I think Presta Roasted. I think I'm gonna big shout out to Mike for his recipe there, the dark rock. Anyway, uh, so it should be really good. Tangerine, lemongrass, and papaya. It's gonna be fantastic. So uh, we're gonna go live. I don't know. I'm maybe like uh, like four o'clock, maybe like afternoon, like four o'clock, three or four. Yeah, it should be fun. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a. Wonderful Friday. I know some of you are early morning somewhere in the world. Just enjoy yourself. And if I don't see you this afternoon, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. Okay, hold on. I'm going to have a... I might say coffee equipment is expensive in India. Just got a pickle presso. You know, you know I have to say, the pickle presso is the sneaky good. Okay, that's one of those uh, uh, sneaky good uh, espresso maker the manual one. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon, morning. I'm going to see you guys later.